Hello and welcome to another training video. Now today we're going to take another look in Excel at using GIS in Excel. So this is mapping and there's a new feature that we can use which is it's not actually anything to do with Excel. It's, it seems to be an update that's been done in Bing and it now al allows us to plot British postcodes directly without having to transfer them into longitude and latitude. So let me demonstrate how this works. So first of all, here's an Excel file, and I've simply got some cleaned customer addresses here. Now, if I try and take this postcode here and use the features with the data types to look for the geography of that postcode, it's not going to work because although it uses Bing to look up that postcode, it's trying to find a match for that text, which could be anything from anywhere in the world. So it's not actually correctly identifying it as a postcode. So using data types is not going to work. But what we can do is we can insert and we can insert a 3D map. Now, if we use a 3D map, we get the option for field lists and we can put our postcode into this location field and as long as we put it in and then specify that it is a postcode, then this will actually locate all of our data. So if I now zoom in on that data there, you'll be able to see that this has plotted customer postcode locations uh, according to the map or the, the data that we provided. And of course, we then have to probably go in and change the layer options to take down the size of the icons so that we can plot, we can clearly see the individual uh, locations and perhaps change the icon as well to make it clearer. Now the other place that we can use this, so if I just shrink that down, the other place that we can use this is in Power BI. Now I've always been a fan of the, uh, the tools within Power BI for GIS, um, but this has got a lot better now because instead of also of rather having to drag in the latitude and longitude positions, we can now drag our postcode over location and it's powerful enough to actually identify all those positions, plot them in the correct locations and zoom into the area. Now where this used to uh, fall short was if you put in a postcode, it would sometimes pick up postcodes from different parts of the world and we can see immediately here that this is not done because it's zoomed in to the exact area. What it's now doing is it's looking for the context within the data and it's saying well if this one is a postcode from Camberley and Surrey then the other one that might be in Camberley and Surrey or somewhere else in the world is probably going to be Camberley in Surrey and so that's how it now works um, this is very useful I think you'll agree uh, very handy particularly if you work with British postcodes um, I find it useful I certainly hope you guys find it useful and as always Thank you for listening.